Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm actually really excited about because it's a Harry Potter inspired tutorial. Now, I went to Universal two weeks ago and I went to Harry Potter World. I have a vlog going up, but it's just taking so long to edit. There is so much footage. But while we were at Universal, we went to Harry Potter World and I found out I'm House Ravenclaw. So I'm the wise and raven and cool things. So I was really inspired by all of the Harry Potter themed things. I have a water bottle. I actually have a little Ravenclaw book too to keep all my stuff in. And I was like, wow, I want to do something with Ravenclaw because I just think that Harry Potter houses are like really cool and I'm such a nerd and I love Harry Potter so much. So I actually got this palette and this is what inspired me to do this. This is a ColourPop Make Up Your Mind palette and it's specifically this, which is the most intense silver out there. And since the Ravenclaw house is dark navy blue and silver, I thought this is like the perfect eye look to do. Now, I do have more in mind for Ravenclaw, so like I think I want to do like a little series like makeup inspired by TV or makeup inspired by this and I hope that it maybe catches on or something. I'm going to apologize right now because I did use a lot of different palettes in the video. I don't have blues and it's really hard to find matte navy blues like anywhere. I went to Ulta, I couldn't find anything. So I am using a mixture of the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette, the Kathleen Lights and Colourpop Dream Street palette and then the Colourpop Makeup Your Mind palette. And I'm only using the blue shades in these two palettes, the Lorac and the Kathleen Lights palette, so literally any other blue would work just for this look. But I really like how it turned out. It's something I definitely would never ever do, like, I don't know, it's like it's an out of my comfort zone kind of look. I know it's just like a basic halo eye, um, but I do have something else not so basic in store for this thing we got going on, this Ravenclaw thing, because I'm repping. Ravenclaw. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm starting by taking the Ciate Bamboo Bronzer in Star Island on an It Cosmetics 7133 brush. I'm just buffing this into my crease to give it transition shade before I go in with all of the blue colors. I want something nice and warm. Then I'm dipping into the Kathleen Lights ColourPop Dream Street palette into the shade Water Bearer and I'm taking that on a Luxie 205 brush and I'm first packing the majority of the pigment on the outer corner and then I'm blending it into the crease. And then I'm taking it on the inner corner as well and doing the exact same thing, making sure everything is blended nicely. Then I wanted a little bit more color, so I'm packing on the outer corner water bear. And I'm doing the same on the inner corner just to get a little bit more color. It was looking a little too diffused for my liking. And then I go back in with no additional product on that first brush, and I'm just blending those two colors together to make sure they look seamless. Now I'm dipping into the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. I'm going into the shade of Dark Navy on an Essence pencil brush and I'm just focusing this on the outer corner and inner corners of my eyes. I'm building up the pigment to a pretty deep blue um, and I'm just blending it a little bit with that brush. I will go back in and blend those together. Then I'm going into the ColourPop Make Up Your Mind palette and I'm taking this beautiful silver shade. I'm taking the shade Toasted and I'm not using any Fix Plus. I'm not wetting my brush. I'm not doing anything but applying this with a Wet n Wild brush. I don't know what it's called. And it just goes on so smoothly. It's so pigmented. I wanted to do a cut crease and at first I was going to take concealer, but I don't need concealer with this. It is so pigmented right off the bat that I cut my own crease right here and it just blends beautifully it's so metallic off the bat and then I'm just going back in with that essence brush and buffing now to the lower lash line I'm taking this brush from Emacs design I got it on Amazon the pencil brush I'm taking water bearer and just focusing that on the inner and outer corners of my eyes I'm not gonna go in with the deeper shade because this is so deep itself and I'm just taking Toasted again on that Wet n Wild brush and packing it onto the center part of my lower lash line. 
Then I'm taking the Essence Kajal pen in 04 white and I'm just running that on my waterline. I wanted something to brighten up the eyes because it was so deep with the blues. For mascara, I'm doing the Tarte Man Eater Mascara and I'm actually doing it two coats of this mascara because I don't know how to put on false lashes and I wanted a more dramatic eye look. So I have two coats of this on and I feel like it gives my eyes the volume and the intensity that I need. Moving on to the face, I'm taking the Pretty Vulgar Make Them Blush in Hush Blush on a Lexi 522 brush and I'm just buffing this onto my cheeks. I wanted a little bit of warmth since we had such a cool toned eye. And now I'm dipping into the Ofra and Nikki Tutorials Everglow Highlighter, just the white shade. I wanted to just deal with the white lighter colors of the highlight since I have the almost white looking silver on my eyes. And I'm just applying this to the high points of my cheek, uh, Cupid's bow, and my nose. As well as the inner corners of my eyes. And then I'm taking the LA Girl Ultimate Lip Liner in Forever Bare. And I'm just lining my lips and filling this in with this color. I wanted a little something underneath my lips before I go in with gloss because I didn't want too much to do since we have so much on the eyes but I want a little something. And then I'm going into the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Lip Gloss in Midnight Cowboy. This has a little bit of a plumping effect I feel on my lips and it just gives them a little something something. And that is the completed look. Okay guys, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun doing this. A lot more fun than I thought and I like it a lot more than I thought I would too. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to. There's never any pressure. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.